What's up guys, ComputerMD of Gilbert here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a slider with images here in Wix. Uh, this is useful especially for like the home page of your website having like a big slider, maybe even a small slider, but a lot of modern websites nowadays utilize sliders to their advantage on Wix. Uh, before we hop into that, guys, don't forget to go check out WixMyWebsite.com where I am going and collecting signups to get on the email list to notify you guys when this new Wix My Website course that I'm creating goes live. As you can see, I also added a video here. Um, this is a new video that I just added to the landing page. So for some of you that have seen my past couple videos, I did not have this video here. Uh, now I do, so if you guys want to go check that out, feel free to go ahead. Um, but yeah, you guys need to take an opportunity. Uh, for any of you new here, this Wix course is going to be extremely beneficial to you guys. Um, I am so excited when I see you guys sign up because I know how it's going to benefit you. And I know the hard work that I've been putting into this. And I know it's going to show for you guys. And I just really want to help you build your website from start to finish and have you come out with a completed product and a good new knowledge of Wix to fully understand and grasp it. But anyways, guys, link in the description for that. Let me show you how to add a slider here in Wix. So you're going to go up to the Add button. When you get up here, you'll see a slideshow, and you'll also see galleries. But I'm not showing you a gallery, but galleries are also nice to have, especially for like a photography website. But you'll get to slideshow. In here, you'll see full width slideshows, and then you'll scroll down a little bit, and you'll see box slideshows. So the difference between these two is the bo blocks box slideshow will only take up a small portion of your page and will stay within these grid lines. So those are nice to have and you have to choose it based off of your preference and what you're going to need for your website. But then the full width slideshow will take up the entire page. So you'll see right here, it'll take up the entire width of your website. Now. These slides, I think, are more common in the new modern websites that people have created. Let me show you how to manage the slides and edit the design. So to manage the slides, you'll simply go up here, you'll click Manage Slides. Once you get in here, you'll see Slide 1, Slide 2, Slide 3. To manage the slide, you would simply click these three buttons, and then you could either rename, duplicate, delete. You could change the order of the slides in here. Now to change the background and the actual image of the slide, you'd come up here to change slide background and you would change it to something else. You could change the image in it. Now, you could also click on the slide and you'll see it changes the image. And same thing, you would come up here, change slide, slide background and you could change the image. You could make it a video if you wanted. You could even make it a different color, just like a base color. Um, Wix has pre design uh, slides on here for you if you want to take advantage of them or to add your own image or video you would simply click image it'll pull up your media library and you would go ahead and click an image in there to add it onto here simple to do and it's really nice and it's an appealing design on your website now to change the settings you simply go into settings and you'll see right here does the slideshow autoplay? So do you want it to be a manual slideshow where the users click the little arrows? Or do you want it to autoplay so that it filters through every time someone new comes on your website and it'll automatically change slides for you? And if you do want it on autoplay, you then choose how long you want the slides to play for. And then you also have the option to stop the autoplay on hover. So if someone hovers over it, it'll stop the autoplay. Uh, you could take that option off and that way it'll just keep it on autoplay. But if you want it to stop when someone hovers over it, you just simply click that. Uh, you could apply transition effects. So every time it switches slides, how do you want it to switch slides? And then also how long do you want the transition to last? Um, and then finally, you could choose where do they start? Do you want to start it from the right or the left? Um, and that's just preference. And then it also says hide content outside of frame. You can choose that as well. It's completely up to you. All the design and settings really are in your ballpark and they're in your court and it's, it's up to you how you want to do that and how it's going to best fit for your business or your website. Um, but this is just some examples of how to do it here on Wix. 
and then you could also see design right here and that's where you could change the color of the slide buttons and the navigation arrows or the design of the slider itself so guys that's simply how you add a slider here on Wix very quick very simple easy to do if this video helped you guys out please feel free to give me a thumbs up as I really appreciate it and it helps the videos out if you have any questions at all maybe not on this video but any Wix questions at all please comment down below I'm here to help you answer your questions and don't forget to subscribe to me here on computer MD of Gilbert uh, I'm looking forward to growing with you guys part of growing is subscribing and great great gaining more subscribers and growing as a channel and then my other part of sub growing here on YouTube is producing this Wix my website course I feel like not only will this help me grow as a YouTuber, but it'll help you guys grow in your knowledge of Wix and your knowledge of how to take a website from scratch in Wix and build it to completion exactly how you want it and everything you've wanted in a website and everything in between. So how to edit, how to add, how to upgrade, everything in Wix. I want you to come out with a vast knowledge in Wix. So if you guys are interested in that, please go check out wixmywebsite.com, link in the description below. Other than that, thank you guys for spending a couple minutes with me, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. I'll catch you guys later.